If you are looking for a new night out makeup look, you have come to the right place. I'ma make your mind tonight, pulling your hair, baby. I feel you breathing on me. Hello cousins, it's Kemi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we have got this look. It is very much full coverage. It's given all the feels it is to give, okay? So in today's video, I have got this smoky green makeup look for you guys. Very much suited for a night out, a night with the girls, with your man, to the club, to dinner, wherever you wanna go. I don't know why I don't wear green eyeshadow often because it honestly does look stunning every single time I put it on. I feel like green eyeshadow, especially is one of those colors that gets missed out a lot. Not a lot of people are gonna gravitate towards it, but this look, it's very much given. We've got the dark smoky eyes with a bit of color, which is the green. And we've got like a satin matte finish. Perfect for a night out because it's gonna last through throughout the night and you come back home still looking good. So without further ado, if you are loving this look, let's get into it. All right, cousin, so I have done my skincare and done my brows. I did do my brows a little bit darker today. Um, nothing too crazy at all. I literally done the exact same step that I do in my brow tutorial, but at the end I just went in with my Benefit Brow Zinx Pro Palette, and I just grabbed this shade right here, like the second to darkest powder shade, and I just put it around the end of my brows just to give it a little bit of a little bit of juiciness, just for it to stand out a little bit more. Because I feel like when I do my makeup, sometimes my brows get like lost. I don't really know how but it does and I already have light brows so I need it to stand out because I need it to be like I'm here okay that is pretty much all I've done I did go in heavy with my skincare today because I do want a satin matte finish I just gave my skin a little bit extra juiciness okay and I'm just gonna get in with this revolution lip plot maximize conditioning gloss this I used this earlier on today and honestly I absolutely love the way this feels. This applicator right here is so like cooling. It's like the eye primers that you have for your eyes that you go like that and like how it's like soothes the eyes. It's the exact same thing but it just soothes my lips. I really like this one because it's not like the other lip plumping gloss that I've used in the past. Those ones are literally on steroids because as soon as you put it on, why is my lip burning? Why is my lip burning? Like the Too Faced Lip Injection is lip gloss on steroids if you're looking for that plumping lip gloss the Too Faced one will do that for you but this one it's a bit more subtle a bit more babyish but it's there like you can still feel it but it's not extreme and if you don't like lip gloss or the tackiness of lip gloss you might like this because it doesn't have the tackiness of a lip gloss but it gives the shine of a lip gloss okay let's get started with this make look i do want to do eyes first just because i'm a little bit skeptical on how it will look afterwards so let's do eyes so we can be on the same side i am going to go in with a eyelid primer and the one i'm going to be using today is my mac prep and prime it's then eye base this one is really good i've had this for years actually and it's still holding up all you need is honestly a little bit. I kind of like this product because it gives like a more extra tackiness. It actually allows the eyeshadow to grip onto my eyelid. Not that a concealer doesn't. It's just a concealer creases a little bit faster. Whilst this one actually doesn't. I would have went with a concealer if I was more concerned on the pigmentation of my eyeshadows. I'm just going to go in and just tap this on. Use my ring finger. Okay, so the eyeshadow palettes we'll be using here are quite old. <laughs> but they're like staples that I feel like everyone has and they are the morphe x jaclyn hill the vault i believe palettes it comes in four but i'm going to be using three out of the four today i've got the armed and gorgeous palette i've got the dark magic and i've got the ring de alarm these palettes were like staples back in the day jaclyn hill and morphe were killing it with the eyeshadow palettes so i'm pretty sure everyone has these if you don't i'm pretty sure you have these colors in one of your makeup drawers anyway the main shade that i actually want to use in today's video is in the dark magic palette and it's this green right here. But I want to use Ring the Alarm and Armed and Gorgeous for their lovely transition shades. I feel like this is a really gorgeous, pretty transition shade. So with this look, I think I'm just gonna do my makeup how I normally do it. I'm just gonna go from dark to light, you know, work from the crease upwards and fill it in my lid afterwards. I really need to wash my brushes right now. <laughs> my, my brushes are so filthy, yuck. Anywho. Let's go into Dark Magic. Let's grab Mojo. Just this dark brown shade right here. Pack that into my crease. Oof. 
I forgot how pigmented the shadows were. I swear to you guys, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill actually just hit the nail with this palette. This shade is like a really cool tone, dark brown. And I'm using this because I didn't want like a warm brown because a warm brown wouldn't really go for the smokiness that I'm going for. And then you just want to do the same on the other eye. I am not to do one eye type of girl because I feel like I always forget what I've done on this eye. So I like to go in and do both eyes at the same time using the same shades because that way I know that I'm not missing any steps in between. I feel like my eye should always look better on this eye for some reason. Don't know why, don't ask me, I don't know. But it just always looks good on this eye. I don't know. So now what I want to do is start to blend out the edges of this shade. I don't want anything too orangey. I want something on the more on the browner side. So something like Secret wouldn't really work. The undertone of Secret is very red. So I'm going to go into the Armed and Gorgeous palette. I'm going to grab Prowl, which is this shade right here. The shade Prowl is like a neutral brown. I'm going to go in my Morphe M330 brush and just start packing it on slowly. Do you guys see that like the undertone of that shade is not red, it's like very much neutral. I'm just going in with a tap in motion. You should just tap in, tap in, tap in. And eventually those shades will like merge into each other and that will give me my blend. Oh, we're looking very ugly. <laughs> You're looking ugly, 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 ugly. But it's fine, we're gonna fix it. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with Smooth Criminal. I'm just gonna place that right into our brow bone area right here. Again, stamping motion, like so. Do you guys see that? Just stamping the colors on will eventually just blend out your shades for you, rather than you doing a lot of blending, a lot of work. So now that we have the placement of our eyeshadows down, all I wanna do now is just go in with each shade and just blend and make sure that everything is blended seamlessly. You just wanna grab a clean fluffy brush and just, you know, blend it out. And then once you start to lose color, all you wanna do is just go in with the shades that you're losing and just add more. So for Ali, now I'm gonna go back into a dark magic palette. I'm gonna grab Chicory right here. I'm gonna wet my brush. I'm gonna grab that shade and just apply it onto my eyelid. And because we have that MAC eyelid primer down, the shimmer shade is gonna stick really well onto my eyelids. That looks so stunning. Oh, green is honestly such a beautiful shade. I don't know why a lot of people don't do it often. Like green is actually such a pretty shade. I'm just going in now and just blending the edges of the two shades. I don't feel like I need to add black because I feel like that dark brown is dark enough. All I think I might do is maybe smoke out my lash line using a black eyeshadow. So we're gonna move on to skin and we're gonna come back and finish off the eyes. I'm gonna start off by priming the skin. I'm gonna be using two primers today and they're both from Laura Mercier. We've got the Pure Canvas Blurring Primer and I've got the Perfecting Primer. I've actually started mixing my primers instead of me applying one waiting for that to settle down and then applying another i saw this on mary moose's video where she was getting ready for the brit and she literally just mixes in all her primers and i just thought that was bloody bloody genius because it just cuts your time by like five minutes so i'm just gonna mix the two primers on my hand and then just apply it onto my skin and I'm just gonna massage it on. And these two primers are really good because one, the blowing primer smooths out your skin and the perfecting one feels more lightweight, feels like a lightweight moisturizer on the skin. I feel like the blowing primer makes my skin a little bit dry. So that is why I'm going with the perfecting one as well. Okay, so the finish of the look that I want today is like a satin matte finish. I don't want to use a matte foundation because I do want a little bit of glow. So I'm gonna go with foundation that's lightweight but has coverage. And when I put on my powders, it will give me that matte look that I'm going for. But the radiness of the foundation will allow it not to be like caked on dry or like matte. So the foundation I've chosen today is gonna be my L'Oreal True Match Nude Plumping Tinting Serum. I've got a shade deep and very deep. So I'm just gonna do a little concoction at the back of my hand. The shade range is very, very limited. And then just to blend this out, I'm gonna be using my Morphe foundation brush. I'm just gonna stipple that into the skin. It is a really beautiful foundation, you get to see. I also use a medium coverage for a serum. It's a good coverage.
you can honestly tell whether the primer that you use is actually working or not because on a normal day the finish of the foundation is very glowy my skin is looking a little bit more satin it's given glow you guys can still see the glow but it's not like overly glowy or overly dewy okay so for concealer today i'm gonna go in with two concealers don't ask why i'm going with two of everything don't don't ask <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I'm gonna use my Morphe concealer in the shade C4.35 and I'm also gonna use a little bit of my Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser in the shade Tan. Because so my eyeshadow is quite cool tone. I don't want my skin to be cool tone as well. I want it to be a bit more golden. I'm going with concealers that have a red slash golden undertone and that is why I'm using these two shades. I'm just gonna apply this right in my inner and outer corner. Just to like drag my face up a little bit because I do have a ponytail, so I wanted it extra snatched, you know. And I'm gonna use the Maybelline one afterwards, but for now, I'm gonna go in and blend out this shade. This concealer is actually really good. The only reason why I don't use it is because of the applicator. The applicator is just so not ideal. Oh, oh no, I burned too much. If they done this in like a cheap form, I would absolutely love it. And I'm just placing this just underneath my eyes because this concealer as well, full coverage. I know we're looking very light right now. Don't worry, it's gonna get fixed, okay? To so do that, we're gonna start, you know, bronzing and contouring the skin. And I'm gonna be using the Makeup Session Mega Concealer in the shade 18. And I'm also gonna go in afterwards using I Am Magic Foundation Stick from Juvia's Place in the shade Congo. This is like the perfect undertone of like chocolate brown and just bronze me up really nicely. I'm just gonna apply this on my cheeks. I feel like an old school YouTuber. I'm gonna apply a little bit lesser to my hairline. I am gonna blend this out first. I'm just gonna stipple that in. Now I'm gonna go in with Congo. Honestly, love this foundation because it's so dark. You guys can see that, right? I like using foundation because it blends out easier. Okay, we're getting snatched today. Like, we are getting absolutely snatched. Like, Come on, cheap bones that I didn't have before. Come on, cheap bones. Where did that come from? I'm telling you. Okay, liquid blush. We are gonna do it because we do need some blush. I personally like using blush because it helps me blend the two shades together. We're gonna be using my MUA Blush Liquid Cream Blush. And this is in the shade Noir, no, Rogue Noir. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of this in the back of my hand. I want to share it out with a brush and then apply it onto my face. It just merges the two shades together. I can go OTT with blushes. Let me stop. Foundation brush, go back in, blend everything else out. Now I just need to go in and lightly set. You guys know why I do this. Maybe the fitment powder has got me by the throat because I cannot put this down. Like I use this in every single video because it honestly just sets my highlighted areas really nicely for me. This is a full glam makeup look. We can't just leave our face looking like this. We need to go in and properly set the concealers. You guess how much concealers I use? This maybe in palette. I love it just to lightly set, but we definitely need to go in and really set so it doesn't like crease like it's doing right now. To do that, I'm actually gonna use my I Heart Revolution Banana Setting Palette. I'm just gonna go with the flat edge of my beauty sponge, grab a little bit of that, wet that at the back of my hand just to get off the excess powder. And then just go in and just start setting. By doing this, it allows the powder not to like clog up in one area. And that is the way I avoid like patchy powder application. Fair fiber, this powder does everything it needs to do and above. Okay, let's go in and just set the rest of our face. We're gonna be using the Morphe Filter 11 powder. Again, another powder that I cannot put down. It just matches me so well. It just gives me like a nice airbrushy feel to the skin as well. 
Okay, so because of the Morphe powder, my skin is looking very much airbrushy. But now I need to go in and bring forward my cheekbones and my bronzy shades. And to do that, I'm going to be using my Morphe filter effect powder again. But this time in the shade 15. It's a more deeper shade. And I do sometimes like to use face powder to set my contour just because it just makes it feel a little bit softer. And I'm using my Mima powder brush. This is in the style 12. Okay, I'm just gonna deepen up a little bit using this Excess Revolution contour shade. Even though this looks quite warm, the undertone of it is quite cool toned. So I'm just gonna lightly use this because I don't wanna look gray. I just want it to give me a little bit more depth. Now I'm gonna go in, take off my excess powder. Okay, so we're gonna go and finish off the eyes now. I'm gonna go back into the um and gorgeous palette and it's up of an eyelid we went from dark to light but on another lash line you want to work from light to dark it just gives you better control so we're gonna start off with smooth criminal from the armed and gorgeous palette and then using the same brush we're gonna go prow and then go into the dark magic palette we're gonna grab mojo and a more smaller brush closer to our waterline we're just gonna grab a tiny bit of black because i just feel like we need a little bit just to like make it out a little bit i don't know i feel like i just need a little bit of black because i'm going in with a black eyeliner in my waterline this is the maybelline tattoo eyeliner i'm actually gonna add a little bit of the pencil on my lash line as well oh yeah very smoky we like this when it comes to mascaras benefit baggy on mascara is at the top of the list because the one is just so fine it's so black and it's so comfortable one of my favorite mascaras and i'm not really a mascara babe but this mascara does wonders so I went on a lash shopping spree and I bought a lot of different lashes from different brands. One of them being Shein and I got these really thick lashes from them. This is not going to be a lot of people's style but I have big eyes, okay? So I can get away with like thicker, fuller lashes. Obviously if you have small eyes you probably wouldn't like these because they are bloody humongous. I actually haven't used this style before but I feel like it's going to look gorgeous. So let's try it on. Oh, that looks good. Yes, a bold lash, give it to me. These lashes are definitely given full beat. This is not for the shy babes, okay? <laughs> These are really nice, and they're actually black, because I feel like there's some lashes that I buy from like Aliexpress or, or Shein, and, but they look a little bit gray, but these are actually black. And by the way, I went and glued it down using my Shein or She Glam two in one eyeliner which is an eyeliner and a glue at the same time best product from Shein ever obviously this look is more of a night out look and we're definitely gonna need our makeup to last all day so we're gonna go in with our urban decay all night to setting spray to set our makeup all night literally drowning it so whilst my setting spray is doing its thing i'm gonna go in and do my lips you guys already know nk lip liner and my primark eyeliner in the shade brown nk lip liner first and then we're going to do the first place a lipstick in the shade toffee and then just to lighten it up we're going to go with nyx soft matte lip cream in the shade abu dhabi Two more things to do and then we're done. We're gonna go in with our EX1 blush. This blush is so stunning. I'm gonna add a little bit of sleek Saharan blush. This is an orange blush that I honestly adore. I'm gonna go my Bobbi Brown highlighting powder in the shade Bronze Glow. Grab a little dress up detail shader brush. Pop that in my inner corners. Stunning. And then on my nose as well. Okay, so makeup is pretty much done. Let me go 
get changed and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back, hair is done. My hair's looking a little bit stiff right now, but it's fine. This is the completed makeup look. What do you guys think? Do you like? Would you be trying it out? Are you a green person? This look is definitely for when you wanna make a statement like, I am that babe, don't play with me. Of course you can go in and change the green if you don't like green. If you wanna choose another color, you can do a navy blue or like a dark purple. This look, you can alter it however you like. Feel free to change it up, okay? I definitely love the fact that we went with green today and the thick lashes are just given. Anywho, thank you cousins so much for watching. I love you guys so bloody much and inshallah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye cousins. Mwah.